but it's 4th of July, thought we could do a change of scenery, do the bookcase behind me instead of the traditional desk, you know, tree, phone dog logo. Why? Well, one, because this makes me look like I read a lot. And two, hey, it's just a change of scenery, you know, kind of a lax day, thought we could do something fun. What's going on guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and there's a new tablet in the house, and it could, I'm using my hands a lot in this video, woo, there's a new tablet in the house, and it could replace the Apple iPad 2 as the most popular tablet, just maybe. The HP Touchpad is here, we're going to do an unboxing to see how great it really is. It's finally, finally here, the HP Touchpad in the house. It was you know, announced in February at that event right before Mobile World Congress in San Francisco alongside the Veer and the Pre-3. So the Veer's out, the touchpad's out now. We just need to get the Pre-3 out so we can do some of those cool sync capabilities with the touchpad with at least a high-end uh, you know, WebOS device. But here it is, the HP touchpad, just to walk through some of the specs, 9.7 inch display as you can kind of see here, 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon processor. Now it has a 6,300 milliamp hour battery. It has WebOS 3.0. Here's the interesting thing. It has a camera on the front. It's 1.3 megapixels. No camera on the back and there's no actual camera app on the touchpad out of the box. So it's good for Skype. It's good for you know video chatting, things like that. But there's no actual app to take advantage of the camera on the device. But that's a brief run through. And as always, special thanks to our guys at Best Buy. They hook us up with a bunch of cool stuff. So we can give it to you in the One Paw Bandit game. They've really come through with a lot of awesome devices. So when you go to Best Buy, you walk out working. If you get a touchpad or whatever, they'll help you set it up. So you can see here the touchpad and uh, a bunch of lights. Let me try and pull some of these away so we can get rid of some of the glare. But you can see the touchpad's here. And I've been playing with it for about 24 hours. And I'll be honest with you, um, I love WebOS. WebOS is one of the best operating systems uh, in my opinion, it just it's like that child that you just know there's so much potential, but it's just not living up to it. The hardware is just not there. I mean, if they had a you know, killer uh, tablet, a killer smartphone, some different form factor besides the typical keyboard, slide up, screen, you know, slides kind of sideways or kind of up and over, it would be kind of nice. They had like three or four different form factors. The rumor is they're licensing out WebOS, so here's to hoping we'll see some, uh, maybe some Samsung. WebOS devices or some HTC WebOS devices. So that will be cool. But anyway, let's uh, go over to this because we'll do that in just a second. Now here comes the fun part. Woo! That's ex exciting, exciting stuff. HP Touchpad getting started. HP Touchpad Navigation Guide. HP is here to help. They are here to help. And important safety and legal information and a cleaning cloth because this thing is a fingerprint magnet. So you got that stuff in here. And then you have all of your, uh, your charging stuff. You know, the downside of tablets when you're shooting these on video is you can't fit the entire box into the shot, or at least it's hard to. So you can see over here, you've got the big uh, HP, similar thing that we're used to from the Veer, from the Pre series. It's a little circular AC adapter module, except it's a big honking circular AC adapter module for the tablet and the USB cable uh, as well, which doubles up as your cord for your charger. So not a lot in the box in terms of accessories, but uh, cleaning cloth, that's pretty nice, pretty generous of them to. Uh, to include that, let me try and get that back down. There we go. And I get this out of the way so you can see just the tablet. I don't know, it said now here comes the fun part. I don't know that the regulatory information is necessarily fun. I think the tablet is uh, where it's at in terms of the fun part. But here it is, 9.7 inch display. So it's the same display as the Apple iPad 2. Kind of the same size, it has a different feel to it. It's a plasticky feel. You can see, look at the fingerprints. Fingerprint magnet. HP logo on the back, no camera back there. You have your speakers down here with Beats technology, thanks to HP's partnership with uh, with Dr. Dre. You can see power button up here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then over here, your volume rocker as well. And then of course, this is kind of interesting. You know, you'll notice some differences in the tablet version of WebOS as opposed to WebOS version 2.0 and 2.1 if you've worked with the Pre, the Veer, the Pixie, whatever. First of all, the button is a physical button that you can see here. It's no longer a, uh, a gesture-based uh, go back type button. It is a physical button. And then there's the uh, the front facing camera. But you can see otherwise you know a lot of similarities. But when you open up the menu, you can see it's a little different, a little bit different up here. Downloads favorite settings, so you can see some of the apps I've already downloaded, some of the favorites that I haven't apparently put in the favorites folder. I guess I don't have any favorites yet. And then the settings as well. Now here's where it gets interesting. Most of this uh, in day to day use, the tablet's very fast. You can really feel the dual core Snapdragon processor. It's fast, but then you see random lags. Like it randomly hangs up and it does random stuff. I can't say what I was thinking. Uh, in the video, but it does random stuff. You know, it, it just freezes up. You know, you'll go to the web and you'll load the web, for example, and it'll, it'll freeze here for two or three seconds. Now, I didn't do it that time, but it will. So every now and again. So little things like that where you're like, okay, wait a second, this is running a dual core processor. It's a pretty fast tablet. 
and it just has so much potential. WebOS is a, uh, is a fantastic OS. I mean, the multitasking king, in my opinion. It's very, very good, but uh, you know, I just don't know if the, if the hardware is the best uh, in comparison to some of the other stuff on the market. But you can see here, phone dog loaded up pretty quick. This is obviously a Wi-Fi only version. But uh, very fast in terms of the pinch to zoom capabilities. There is some checkerboarding when you scroll up and down. Uh, you're not seeing it right now, but there is the occasional checkerboard. And then when I want to add a window, you said do that and it brings up a second one. And then of course, thanks to WebOS's cards technology, you can see it groups those together and I can either shift those around or I can get rid of one and just swipe up to get rid of it. So very similar if you've worked with a Pre or you know Veer before, uh, the learning curve is going to be much less as opposed to coming from another platform if you're new to WebOS. But you can see up here your little notifications panel with battery, Wi-Fi, VPN, Bluetooth, airplane mode, things like that. And then when you get messages, they appear over here to the left, uh, like a you know, Gtalk message, an AIM message. It does have a messaging app. We can go in here and take a look at this just so you can see what it looks like on a 9.7 inch display. And then you know I can do a new conversation if I want to. And let's just say, hey. And then what this is, I can either scroll it back or I can scroll it forward and take up the full screen. So when you get into something with multi-panels like an email or something where you have your emails, or no, let me take that back. When you have your uh, individual accounts, then you have your emails, then you have the actual topic or the body of the email, you can scroll these around to increase the space or decrease the space as well. So there's a lot of functionality in the tablet and you can see for the most part, it's pretty fast. I mean, yeah, I can load up pictures with ease. Most stuff pops up pretty quickly, but it's just random. Like for example, right before I shot the video, uh, I went to pick up the tablet to put it back in the box so I could do this because I've been playing with it for about 24 hours and it was stuck. It was frozen on the unlock screen and then the device restarted itself. So little random things like that that I'm seeing a lot of issues with. And I've seen that two or three times just in the past uh, 24 hours. Then we can go over here and just see what comes out of the box. You get Bing Maps, you get all the typical WebOS personal information management stuff, contacts, web, email, things like that. And then of course, some apps that I downloaded, Facebook of course, uh, and then USA Today, Cable News and Yak Free. HP App Catalog, a little bit of a difference here since it's running on, uh, running in tablet form rather. You can see when this opens up. And just little things like that. I mean, it didn't take that long, but I mean, for a dual core Snapdragon device, that should have loaded much faster, but you can see kind of a revised app catalog here with top free. And you have your categories, you can search down there at the bottom. A little bit of a different look. And like I said, I can open up more than one thing at one time and then scroll through the various cards. So it's one of those things, WebOS, I mean, has so much potential. They just need the hardware to live up to it. It'll be interesting to see over the course of a couple of weeks that I get to review this and work with it. It'll be interesting to see if this can live up to the Zoom, to the Galaxy Tab 10.1, to the iPad 2, and some of the other front runners on the market. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. But hey, you could win one of these in PhoneDog's greatest tech giveaway ever. It starts tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Enter to win at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. All you have to do is like us, like our network sites. It's super easy. As always, be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on my Facebook page at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. A B. Time for me to go get a burger, or at least try and get a burger or a hot dog or something for 4th of July. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage, and as always, we'll see you next time.